By the way, you look lovely. That's a beautiful dress. I haven't seen that before. Um, I play Charlie Burroughs, who is a homeless veteran who lost his leg in the war and is trying to deal with PTSD and finding his way to, to have closure with his deceased father, who was also a, a, a veteran and, and died in combat. And um, he comes into contact with Max's character, who's also a homeless veteran, and we find our, we find the connection with each other almost as brothers, and we go on this journey across the country to both find closure for my character and for Chase's character. And it's amazing to see, you know, from a very diverse background that you're involved in this kind of a role, and it kind of hits home, doesn't it? Because you went to military school. And I was in the military. You were in the military. Tell us a little bit about that experience. Well, I served uh, in the army from oh, from '97 to '01. You know, I'm dating myself a little bit, but yeah, that was to me uh, that taught me everything. But my father was also a veteran, and he served in Vietnam, was injured twice in Vietnam, and then he retired. You know, so I got to learn the military life at a young age. And, and then later experience it on my own. And so once I left the military and became an actor, um, I looked, I always looked for roles that would explore that, you know, but in a, in a very sort of uh, heartfelt, unique, grounded way. And it, it's been a bit, and this role came, and it was one of the most beautiful, grounded, most like honest and sincere things I've ever, I've read uh, that, you know, portraying a military character or, or a, a veteran or, 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 or of that type. And so I, I couldn't, I couldn't be more grateful to be a part of this, to be honest with you, because it's my father, it's my friends, it's my cousins, it's my brothers, my, my, my army brothers and my, and myself that, that is represented on there and, and at the hands of somebody so careful is so passionate about what we're doing, you know, that, that it makes everything unique, in my, in my opinion, you know, so, yeah. The, the way that you compared basically how you um, described your character in the film does remind me of yourself because your father was a sergeant, combated in Vietnam and Korea as well. So growing up, what kind of struggles did you see him have to go through? You know, uh, when I started acting, well, before I, I'm sorry, when I was 12 years old, I remember crawling out of my, my bedroom to, to watch what he was watching on TV late at night. And I remember there was something playing on the TV, and it was, it was Platoon, the movie. And I could see it past, you know, behind him, I could see the silhouette of his shoulders being shaken up when the moment comes in where Willem Dafoe is getting shot up. And I'm like 12 years old watching this, and in my head, I'm like, oh my God, that's, I want to cause that emotion in people because my father, I could see him sort of healing a little bit through that by seeing it I think he I think he and then that's the only time that I saw him have an episode and then literally like 25 years later was the only time or like 20 years later was his first time talking to me about it and it was at a at a at a at a bank standing in line suddenly he's like starts telling me the story and I had to let him finish I think the beauty of this film is that it's it's it it shows people that there's injuries that you cannot see you know but that, it's done in a very artistic way it's creative it's funny it's it's fun it's sexy the movie is a lot of things and i can't wait for people to see it i really can i can't wait for you guys to see it I know, that's amazing you're making me want to see it because it's the way like people bury their feelings like literally bury them and then what how do you bring it out and that's incredible how you and your father managed to connect, to connect that do you think is that partly why you got into acting shifting from military into acting to bring out certain emotions. Yes, I think because of that moment with my father when I was 12 years old, when I was about to get out of the military, I thought, I gotta try this out. Either I stay in, it's a safe, safe, you know, trip, I get, get in with that, or I get out and try it. And I decided to, I try it, I had to do it, you know? You're succeeding. What's next for you finally then? Uh, I have a show coming out in in, in, uh, in, in the fall, or some, sometime this year, this Vida on Stars that I'm on, and, uh, and I have a movie uh, coming out uh, sometime this year uh, called All the World is Sleeping with Melissa Barrera and Jackie Cruz and, you know, Jorge Garcia. It's a beautiful film that I can't wait for you guys to see. You it's know? exciting. It, it sounds very diverse as well. A lot of Hispanics coming out. Yes. Yes, we're making it happen. <laughs> Ole, oh, oh, no. Yes. <laughs> it's about creating characters and roles that don't necessarily have to be specifically Latino or Hispanic, like this, for example, you know? Uh, we can play everything just like everybody else can play everything.